come back. Yeah, about to get back on. I think I'm in the wrong fucking lane. No, I'm not. What am I saying? This is, yeah, this is parking. That guy probably just got terrified just now. But yeah, I'm able to make left turns without my peg mounts hitting. And I'm able to uh, make right turns without the pipes hitting. I wish I would have left it like this before the pipes got all ground down, but I'll just cut them down a little shorter. They'll be fine. Now well, the only option I would have is uh, to hit peg, you know, these pegs. But I think I'm doing pretty good. I got some ground clearance, and when I hit bumps, I don't got to worry about bottoming out. Because what was happening, I think I even hit my primary a few times. And that's not good. You know, there's a couple gashes on it. I have fucking New York, man. Ask anybody who has low profile tires on their car in New York. How many rims they've been through. Ask me with my Jeep. No, I haven't been through any. I'm sorry, guys. I drive a Jeep with big tires. Uh, with bigger tires, not huge. I run a 33 by 10.5 BF Goodrich all-terrain because I on-road 90% and I off-road 10. That's the best way to explain it. Don't get me wrong, I love a fucking truck with a big giant tire on it like everyone else, but I ain't got that big giant money. That shit costs mad money, man. Gas, woo! I had an F-150 with like a 12-inch lift and 37-inch fucking needles on it. And let me tell you guys, that was fucked up. I drove it to Jersey, it cost me like 80 bucks. One way. It was fucking insane. Mitchy Boy, if you had that that truck, Mitchy Boy in a uh, black Jeep biker. If you had that F-150, had a 347 stroker motor in it, it dynoed at 400 horsepower almost. Not bad for a small block, it was a uh, Edelbrock, great motor. It's like a $7,000 motor. But if you would have had that truck in New Zealand, you'd be working for gas. That shit was nuts, man. I don't even know why I fucking bought it. It was just so hot looking. And then I had it painted fucking army green and the kid Mike loves it. I'll get a video on it one of these days. I traded it for my Jeep and money. But that truck, man, it's a race car. It was, it was too much for the street. Way too much. That thing would lay rubber for like a fucking block. It was, um, what the fuck was mine? A, a 95. Yeah, I, no, I forget. I think it was a 95. I only had it for a few months. And thousands of dollars in gas. Smells delicious. Woo. I just passed a good restaurant. I am going home and eat. But yeah, you'll see me coming around turns now with more confidence. I'm uh, a lot better off with it like this. And now when Mark gets back, wheelie time. You're going to see my bike at 12 o'clock, guys. Mark's going to pop it right up now. Watch. Especially if I get new shocks, which is my nut, my plan. I really want different shocks, but these are pretty good. I, I got them for free. I really can't complain. My boy Dave found them in an apartment that he was moving stuff out of. He works for a moving company. And the guy was evicted and the shit was all there. So I have a bunch of parts. I got to put them on uh, eBay. I got an s, &S Super B carburetor that's like brand new and the manifold. I got a whole bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Mike just got a little cattywampus there. I'm not used to it being tall. I like the low center of gravity, but it just isn't practical. One day I'll build a bike from scratch and I'll be able to adjust all that. Ooh, I smell a blunt. I smell a blunt. Yeah, they smoking in that car. That shit smells good. I'm in fifth. Stop looking for 
or six. I don't have it. Yeah, that bike is handling awesome. When you uh, raise the back up, basically you increase your steering angle. And it's real sharp right now and I gotta get used to it. It went from like Chopper or Bobber-esque to FXDP. Why the cops use them? They handle amazing. Here we go, this is a good way of explaining. I'm not even gonna drop down here. Leaving with confidence. Almost 70 miles per hour. I hit about 70. They handle. 90 miles per hour, just, just yanking the throttle. That's all it is, guys. Just the pull of the throttle, man. Fifth gear. 1450cc. Twin cam. 88. SNS 510 cam. And gear drive setup. He's fucking running. Dude! What are you trying to prove? <laughs> I, I, that guy would have killed me. I, I didn't see him. He just went by me about 140. Well, now you know the other element we deal with in New York. The fucking yo-yos. That was fast. I'm not getting involved in that. I might, it handles like I demonstrated, but I'm not in the mood, man. You gotta be in the mood. I am not. I think that was a point they did that. They did that on purpose to me, because they, they see a Harley. They think we're slow. But seriously, SNS 510 cams, and uh, the gear drive, let me explain something to you. If you're riding a twin cam Harley, not a Sportster, but if you're riding a twin cam, because the Sportster is probably a superior design, make sure at the, around 30,000 is your max. You do your tensioner. If you don't do your tensioner, you want to upgrade it to the s, &S gear drive. And I highly recommend the 510 cams. I just got a Cody. Highly recommend it. Right, I'm going to shut it down again. Oh, and uh, Black Sheep Rider. Yeah, like I was saying, I, last time I really was into computers was the 80s. <laughs> I think I had a speaking spell at the time. Yes, I did. But yeah, um, seriously, I was computer tech in junior high school. That's the funny fucking thing. But I have no knowledge. I wouldn't know what you were telling me if you told me. But I'm trying, guys. Bear with the 41-year-old not millennial. You gotta bear with me, guys. I'm a fucking knucklehead. I'm gonna learn, though. I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna make everybody proud of me. Later.